Hi, everybody. Um, so today's card is for the Mod Squad Challenge blog, which is also sponsored by Kitchen Sink Stamps. I also wanted to let you guys know, thanks to your support, um, I was contacted by Kitchen Sink Stamps and asked to join their design team, which I very um, excitedly said yes. So thank you guys for that. So you will see a post um, not only once a month on the Mod Squad Challenge for Kitchen Sink Stamps, but um, I'll be posting once a week on my Facebook my in and my Instagram um, for you guys. So if you want more information on layered stamps, um, you know, any questions that you have, don't hesitate to ask me. But I'm very, very excited and I want to thank you guys for the opportunity. So today we are going to recreate the front of this card, but I wanted to show you. I won't be showing this part, but bam! Right, so how exciting is that? Obviously, it is graduation season, so I wanted to um, highlight this stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamps, which is called, um, let me show it to you here, Multi-Step Graduation. Again, it is high-quality clear photopolymer stamp, um, and it has the different layers for the cap, the tassel, and the diploma. So, again, a little secret I had actually stamped this diploma upside down and I had to correct it. So I um, die cut this um, circle piece, re-stamped it and did it over. So, I mean, it looks okay, but I wanted to recreate it for you guys, but also to fix that a little bit. And then I won't be showing the inside, but that was the pop and twist die from Creek Bank Creations. If you guys are interested, I have other videos highlighting that. But you can see I stamped each element again. Congratulations, graduate, the cap and the tassel. Class of 2019, you did it. And um, here, I actually made a mistake when I was stamping it and um, just cut it out. And I think I, there was a little, like, a blurb from my finger when I stamped it. So I cut out another uh, diploma and pasted it over. But I still think it looks pretty cool. So let's get into it. So I think that for this one, I'm just going to make it very simple. I do have the star background drying. Um, I did show that in a previous video as well. That's just taking some transparent paste and foiling over it with your mink. So I will put that on the background here. And then I have a little bit of this orange foil. This is Tim Holtz um, foil card. And then I have a little piece of white cardstock. So I think we'll do the star backgrounds, this and this. So this will be our stamped panel. And I think I'm going to follow pretty much the same design. I like the way that one looks, except for the upside down diploma. I'm sure no one would have noticed, but it bothered me. And uh, let's see. I don't think we need to pull out the Misty today. I think this is a pretty simple stamp set that we can pull out a couple of our blocks because I love my Misty, uh, my multi-stamping platform, whether you have a Tim Holtz, a Misty, or you're using an, an old DVD case, but um, we can do the same thing with just a regular um, stamping block. And I think we'll use the mini inks. That's what I used last time. They will work out just fine for us. So we are going to start with layer one of the cap, which is the largest layer, and it is numbered one right there. I didn't clean mine very good, so I'm just going to spray it down and clean it before I stamp with it. And I just use a little spray cleaner and... I use the Hero Arts Ultra Clean um, and then just use a little rag to wipe them off. We want to make sure that's dry and we're going to use the mini inks. You guys know I like using these mini inks. They are all coordinating already from Altenew. So this one is called Lava Rock. Actually, I'm going to swatch this out and see which one's darker. Okay, so we're going to start with Moon Rock. Lava Rock is darker, so Moon Rock is a little lighter gray. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to 
go on to the second layer, which is the next one down. And for that one, we are going to go in with lava rock, which is slightly darker than moon rock. And this is really going to highlight the bottom of the cap. It's really going to darken that, and it's going to darken the string that holds our tassel. And this is very easy to line up. You line up the tops of the caps of the cap. Um, this one doesn't have really detailed edges that you have to worry about using a stamping tool or worry about lining it up. So you can see it lined up perfectly there. And then the last layer, all the last layer do, is doing is darkening the bottom of the cap and again darkening our tassel string. So you're just going to line up the bottom here for the cap just like that and that one we are going to use the Altenew Jet Black okay so pretty easy The next part is the tassel. The tassel only has two parts. Um, the first layer is like basically the solid part of the tassel. I want to keep with the orange. Those are the colors of the local school around here. Was also the colors of my school way back in the day. So again, gonna go in with some Altenew. I think I will use orange cream, which is the lighter orange. And we're just gonna hang that right off the end of the tassel of the uh, string. Very easy to do. Okay, and then the second part of the tassel is more detailed, so we want to go in with a darker orange, and we're going to use Autumn Blaze. You know what? I changed my mind. I, I used the orange last time, and I just thought it blended too well. I want to go in with black, and we can do that because we make it any way we want. Okay, so we're going to make this tassel orange and black, and again, lining that up to the string. Now, I was off there. That's going to bother me. No worries. So what I'm going to do is just stamp the top again. No reason to go in and re-stamp that image when I just need the top filled in. So I'm going to move the top of my stamp over, and that looks terrible. And this is why you guys watch me, because I make mistakes. Uh, scratch that. We're going to flip this over. We can't even do that because it's saturated all the way through. This is where most YouTubers would cut the video out and refilm. Not me. You guys are getting real Nancy here and you get to see real mistakes. So I'm not going to throw this paper out. I'll probably like use it as a scrap paper, restamp the diploma. I mean, it's not horrible, but I don't like it. So we're going to cut another piece of paper here. I think I had this cut down to four and three quarters. Oh yeah, that is four and three quarters by three and a half. Whoopsie. Starting over, folks. All right. And if you don't want to watch me start over, you can um, fast forward by pressing on the right here. And it'll fast forward 10 seconds so you don't have to see me do it all over again. Moon rock, layer one. I should be better at it this time now that I've done it a few times. Layer 
layer two, lava rock. Layer three, black, jet black, not to be confused with Jet Li. I wanted to name my son Jet. His father totally nicks that one. Okay. And again, we're just lining up the bottom. Okay, so far so good. Let's get this tassel right this time, Nance. Okay, layer one of the tassel. Going back in with the orange cream. Layer two of the castle, or the castle, the tassel. No castles today, Nance. Can you guys tell I'm probably still a little high from the cold meds. All right, I'm going to pull this a little closer to me so I can actually see what I'm stamping here instead of guessing. Eh. I did the same thing I did last time. Guess what? I'm not changing it anymore. It looks better than the last one. All right. I'm leaving it alone. I'm accepting it for what it is, which is a handmade card. And handmade cards are not always perfect. And the recipient isn't going to be looking at the card. They're going to be looking at how much money falls out from inside the card. We all know this to be true. All right. Moving on to the diploma. I used a couple of different colors here for the diploma. Again, there's a solid layer, which, they, again, they're numbered. So they say here number one, two, and three. So um, I actually switched the order of these up and I did number three first and I'll show you guys why I did that. So we, I stamped number three first on the diploma. And for that one, I go in with a brownish color. There we go. So this is a light brown Rocky Shore from Altenew. Okay. What you want to remember so you don't miss, make the mistake I did is that the fat end of the diploma is on the right. Okay, and I start with the third one because that is the outline. It makes it a lot easier for us to layer this one. So start with number three first on that. Then you can go in with number one, and I used Lawn Fawn Butter, which is a very light... Um, cream color. Very, very light. And this is where it makes it easier to line up because the lines are already there from the third layer. I know exactly where to position this first layer and it lines up beautifully. Because this is such a light color when I was stamping it before, it was hard for me to see where I should line it up. Now I'm going to go in with the second layer which is going to be Hero Arts Soft Vanilla. And again, very easy to see through that and add that little bit of dimension. That really makes that diploma look like it's a rolled up piece of paper there. Okay, so now for the ribbon. It's a tiny little ribbon that goes around our diploma. And 
Layer one is the most solid layer. And again, I'm gonna use the orange cream, which is the lighter orange. Matches our tassel. Okay. And then the second layer just gives it a little bit more dimension. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of a darker orange. This one's called Autumn Blaze. Very subtle, but it gives it dimension, just adding that extra layer of detail. And then the third one is basically a shadow layer. And we're going to go in with some fire brick for that. You don't want to skip this third layer. It just gives a little bit more shadow, a little bit more dimension. Okay, so now our cap, tassel, and our... Um, diploma are all stamped out we need to put some sentiments on here so I like this other one for this one that says look out world and I'm gonna put that one over here and I'm gonna use the same jet black Pretty good. And let's see here. What other sentiments can we add on here? We have class of lookout world. Congratulations. Um, oh, you did it. Graduate on all of your accomplishments. And you can put the year on there. So... I think I will put the class of 2019 up here again. Very delicate, scripty font. Okay, and then the 2000. The 201 part is already together, so that makes it easier for lining up. And then all you have to do is add whatever you want your ending year to be. So we're just adding a 9 to that. So hopefully that looks pretty straight. And I'm just going to practice stamp that over here. That looks pretty good. we go okay and then I think I'm actually gonna leave this I don't want to oversaturate this but we are going to be mounting it on some foil paper um, I think I just want to color the edges a little bit so I have these little again dollar store makeup brushes and Let me get the orange cream out and just lightly dust the edges with it. It's a very subtle shading of color, but then the paper's just not so stark white. By the way, I'm using Nina Solar White Classic Crest on this uh, paper to stamp on. And then I do have some star, like, um, what do you call that? Sequins that I'll probably glue on here. So 
So we're going to glue that down to our foil piece. This foil piece is cut down to five by three and three quarters. So our stamp panel was a um, quarter smaller than that. It was um, four and three quarters by three and a half. And then let me just grab our background piece. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I wasn't gonna show this part, but I guess I can. Um, so I previously showed a video where I took some Ranger texture paste, ran it through a stencil, and I don't know if you guys can see, it is for the most part dry. I mean, it's still, there's a couple white spots in the stars here, but um, I can touch it without it really moving around. So I think we will be safe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mink or laminate or whatever you have. I have the mini mink here, it's on setting three. And I'm going to take a piece of foil. This is a piece of Heidi Swap foil, mink foil. And you're going to lay that over the area that you want to be foiled. And I have a mink clear transfer folder here. And we're going to run that through. And what's going to happen is the mink or laminator that you're using is going to heat up the adhesive, causing it to get sticky again or kind of reactivate it. It will stick to the foil and then it will pull off and you'll get that starry background like we have here. And there's a little bit of dimension to it, which is kind of cool. But you want to make sure that that texture paste is pretty dry. You don't want to go in there with the uh, milky white colored glue because then what will happen is when it goes through your mink or your laminator, it's going to get squished and then you're going to have um, oozed out design. So we did pretty well here. Love this technique. It's so cool. So we just need to cut this down to size, two card, a two card size, so five and a half by four and a quarter. And I just try to cut the ugly bits off. A little bit off the top here. And yes, I did reuse another piece of paper that had stuff on the back of it. I always reuse my scraps. It might be a mistake on one side, but you know, you can always reuse the other side. Oops. Put that down way too soon. Here we go. Okay, so we have this cool star textured background with the foiling. And then we'll put our stamped panel and our foil down, our foil mat, I should say. And there we have quick and easy graduation card um, for your newest graduate. So um, this one I jazzed up a little more by doing the pop and twist die. Again, that's from Creek Bang Creations, but um, I covered up my little mistake here. But now I have two cards for the local school, which their colors are orange and black. And um, like I said, I think they came out pretty cool and the kitchen sink stamps made it look really easy and really made it look 3D and layered. I really like the diploma and the hat and the tassel there. So um, there you go, guys. If you have any questions, post them down below.
If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want to subscribe, there will be a little button over here. You just click on that. And when you see the bell, click the bell and it'll notify you every time I post a video. And again, I'll be posting weekly at uh, Nancy Stamps 15 on Instagram and Facebook um, for kitchen sink stamps. So join us over at the Mod Squad Challenge where I will be posting this card and you can play along and you could win a $25 gift certificate to Kitchen Sink Stamps. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.